it's Christina and welcome back to another try on video. I do know it has been a while. I'm not putting these out as often as you guys would like, but that's because I'm devoting all my energy to OnlyFans that I recently started as well as Patreon. So if you want to see more of me and hang out with me and live try ons and see the more sexier stuff that YouTube and Instagram seems to be taking down constantly now because apparently it's just too much for them. Head over, it'll be in the description below, first and second link, OnlyFans and Patreon. A lot of the stuff I'm trying on today is brought to you by Wicked Weasel. So, they are not sponsoring this video. I actually went on their website and I spent over $750 on their suits. There's only about eight of them. Can you imagine $753 for like eight suits and the materials are so tiny, it's gonna be interesting so we're gonna see if it's worth the hype and the money a lot of people have been wanting me to do a Wicked Weasel try on and so now I'm finally doing it at the end of summer so I know it's September now I'll still call it end of summer <laughs> school year started but let's just jump right into it okay so out of the suit the amount of suits that I did get I'm only trying a couple on YouTube the rest are gonna be on patreon and OnlyFans some of the outfits are slightly see-through and you know transparent and very thin material so that's just gonna have to be on the other sites um, Wicked Weasel, Australia. Everything's designed in Australia, and if you do have it shipped to the United States, it took me over two, almost three weeks to get the items. I wanted to do this back in August, and I didn't get them, and so now it's September. So be aware that shipping does take a while. I'm gonna blame it on COVID because of that. Everything seems to be uh, slowing down. Also, price points are very high. Now, they come separate, tops and bottoms. You can mix and match, different sizes. This is a size small adjustable around the neck and around the uh, the waist, the midline. And then I got boy shorts because I really like the boy shorts look, especially when I'm like washing cars and things like that. It's nice to not be in a full bikini, but still be a little bit sexy. And I, took, I went with the blue and the white. It's adjustable on the side, so you can really give it that scrunch to go up the booty and everything. Now, <laughs> it's price, let's go back to the price point, guys. It's like $50 for a pair of bottoms. For a pair of bottoms, $50. It can be upwards of $57. And tops, you can range from $20 to $30 to $40, again to $50. And look at the material, super thin, no padding. So it doesn't even come with padding, and there's no places to insert padding. So you're really gonna see your nipple, really. You're gonna see everything, especially when it gets wet, especially with the white. So be aware of that. Um, it's gonna show off everything if you get cold easily. This is very thin material. Um, I'm only going to have these on for a split second, show you guys, and then we'll talk about how it fits. Alright, so here is the first outfit. Very, very nice. The material is extremely soft, but as I stated, there's no padding, so you're going to see everything, especially when you get wet. The bottoms are actually an extra small, so very, very stretchy. Look how, look how much farther it can go out, so if you're a little bit bigger, it's totally fine. It might um, give you a slightly more camel toe uh, look to it, but... I scrunched it on this side, tied it, and then I just pulled it and left it loose. So you can do whatever you want. You can keep it open. You don't have to like tighten it. But I love the look that it gives on the booty. It's still sexy, but it doesn't, it's not like a full thong and it's a little more um, conservative, but sexy at the same time. So I actually really, really love it. It's sexy. Let's just go on to the next piece. Going on to the next bikini one with a solid color, a nice pink. Um, so same thing, I don't think any of these come with um, padding on the inside or areas to put padding, so it's gonna be, Wicked Wheels was more of like a very sexy um, brand, so if you look at their website, all the girls, they're barely wearing anything, and it really shows a lot. Um, so there's a the top, adjustable all around, uh, size small, and then the bottoms are also size small. This is actually the outside, a lot of people say your tag showing, the Wicked Weasel logo the two w's is actually on the outside and it's a little like metal piece um which is cool the one thing that i don't actually like about the bottoms is where they put their tags they put their tags right on the line that goes between your crack so when you do cut it off it's still showing it might be itchy so you really have to go in there and try to take it out i don't know why they wouldn't just put it right here or on this side where it's big um, like they do on their other suits. I don't know why they, for the thong, they decided, oh, let's just put it on the area that goes right between the crack. Um, and it's very scratchy. Like I cut it and it's still extremely scratchy. It's not one that you can like just tear off. So that's the one annoying thing. Hopefully your butt will <laughs> cover it up, but if it doesn't, that would annoy me. And now I have to sit here and try to rip out the entire thing. Um, very cute. As you can see, shows off a lot. The bottoms are not adjustable. And very, very sexy. Gonna give you that really tiny thong triangle tan line. Let's give it a try. 
<laughs> All right, here is the suit. Extremely sexy, fits great. The top is small and it covers a lot. Obviously, it could be adjustable, so you can bring it in to give you a better tan line. The bottoms are holy hell, very sexy. As you can see, it really shows off the booty if you've got one and it gives you an amazing tan line. I like it, it works, the material's thin yet again, so you're gonna see the nips that they do get hard and wet. So, that's it that you get for this. Let's go on the next one. <laughs> All right, so the next piece, I went back with the stripes. I love this look, it's like I'm a sailor or something. Um, the top, as you can see, it's a size small, and it's navy and white. They do have black and white, they have red and white, and blue and white, so. Um, I went with this uh, dark navy color, adjustable everywhere, so same old same. Um, and the bottoms I'm going to try with it are these ones, so they're size medium. And they're still, all their material is super stretchy and soft, so medium might be too big, but hopefully it works. I've tried an extra small, that works. I've tried a small, that works, so we'll see what a medium looks like. Um, their sizing on the chart, they say usually go size down from what you are, um, but I just, I didn't know, so I got a bunch of different sizes. So this one's gonna give you a little bit more coverage. It's a bikini style coverage compared to the boar shorts. So it's, a, it's one under boar shorts. Um, I also got, they have many different cuts. Um, they even have like thongs on there. I didn't get any of those though. This is the next one. It, it covers um, a little bit more than the thong or like the, yeah, version of this, not the G-string. And the front is open. So I feel like there's not much coverage here. So you probably need to be shaved or um, waxed or zapped. It is transparent, the more it stretches. Um, so it'll be interesting. I'm not trying these on though, on here. And then this is the black one, um, just like the pink one I tried on. And again, for some reason they put their tags right there for scratching my fingers. So I can only imagine being on you. Um, so these ones I'm not gonna try on today. It's gonna go on OnlyFans and Patreon. So I'm gonna stick with the bikini coverage bottoms. These do look so big. And then the regular small top. Let's give it a try. Here is the piece. The medium bottoms are actually very nice. They're forgiving. So if you have some fat or rolls, it's not going to squish them, which is nice. So medium actually works. And so does small. And so does extra small. So I feel like it can't go wrong just because they're so stretchy. The top size small looks great. It works. The fact that there's white, you're going to see some nipples. If it gets wet, you're going to, of course, see them. So be careful with that. The back. Bikini coverage, so it gives you a little more coverage. Um, a little less than the boy shorts, but a little bit more than the uh, like thong. Really small ones, a triangle one. So I really like it. Looks amazing, feels amazing. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, next. Um, this is just gonna be the bottoms, but I need a top. So uh, I'm gonna put this pink one back on, this pink purple, whatever, whichever color you decide this is. And then um, the this was $39, guys. Look how small this is, and thin material, $39. This was what, 49 I think I said, $49. Um, yeah, so another different style of bottoms, a little bit more coverage, um, kind of boy shorts and thong mixed together just because it's so thick on the sides, not adjustable. They have their little logo on the outside and that's it, um, crisscross is kind of in the middle. So for the price point, it is insane. I mean, the material is very soft um, and thin. It's, it's, uh, it's a delicate in a way, but you're not gonna rip it. Um, if that makes sense. So I would definitely get a suit from them. I would not buy all of them, um, but one of them should last you one or two. But they're, it's worth it's worth being that expensive, so it makes sense. Um, let's let's just give it a try. Okay, so I decided not to try on the top. I'm just going to show you the bottoms. The Brazilian um, bottoms. They're actually really really nice. They kind of remind me of the boy shorts, just a little less coverage. I like the thickness and the fact that it really covers the frontal area and in the back really curves around the booty so if you've got a booty it's going to accentuate on it and bring it out make a plump look so i like it it's nice it's thick it'll give you a thicker tan line but they're very very comfortable and it's black so it's not going to show anything if you do decide to get wet so i really really like these ones um the next thing i want to talk about is the fact that they did send me masks so i didn't order these but they do make masks apparently maybe it's complimentary with your order or if you spend a certain amount 750 dollars they'll give you some masks so these ones are really, really nice. Um, just regular looking masks. I've been actually looking for ones that aren't plain white and black, so that's pretty cool. I'll try one of them on. Um, here's another cool design one, and then black on the inside. The one thing I do wish, again, they're tags. I wish they were just rippable. I, I know like companies like Lululemon and Gymshark and Alpha Elite, you can rip them out and they completely come out and you can dis discard them. It doesn't give you this scratchy um, feeling. So. That's the one thing that I wish that they would do. And then this one, the pineapple one's actually my favorite one and it's on both sides, which is really nice. Um, okay. 
Actually, I haven't tried this one on. Get around the hair. There you go. How does it look? Does it work? Looks nice, yeah. Looks nice? Mm-hmm. Gives it a little bit of this extra bling and not just so boring. And I love the fact that the pineapples are um, gold. It gives it just a nice little feel. And the material is very, very strong. I think um, nylon or something. I was breathing through it. It's fine. I mean, it's, it's a mask. They're all kind of hard to breathe through after uh, being in them for so long. But I, I don't wear masks um, for that long every day. So it's nice. I mean, it's, it's a mask. It looks nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I really love the feeling on the face. It's not scratchy or uncomfortable. It's actually soft, um, like their bikini. So I really like that. Uh, let me show you one more thing. And the final couple pieces I'm not going to try on here. It's going to be for Patreon and OnlyFans. I went with the red and white. It's a little bit lighter color. It's going to show a little bit more. Again, so soft and amazing. The bottoms aren't adjustable. The top, um, I believe, is an extra small, so it's less coverage than the other ones. And then again, with this thong one, which I've yet to try on, um, on here or really in real life. So it's going to be interesting to see how small, how much that really covers. Um, and as you can see, there's areas on the top that you can see. Uh, next one, this is extra small bottoms. Again, they're kind of stretchy, but not as stretchy as the other ones that I've tried on. So it'll be interesting to see if this, you know, hits my love handles and shows the rules or if it actually is going to look nice. Again, no coverage really on the back and the size extra small. I love the flower pattern, but because of this is so light and slightly white, it's really going to show um, the girls up top, the twins. So this one will have to be on OnlyFans and Patreon. And um, I'm not going to wear pasties with these, so it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like. Straps are adjustable, and it gives you kind of that sports bra look to it. The next one, this one is the one that's a little bit trans. It's actually it's transparent and see-through. Um, the bottoms are adjustable. They didn't come together, tied together. So once you tie it together, really thin on the back, so it's going to give you that amazing tan line, but also show off the booty. And then the top, once again, it is see-through and transparent, size small, and you're going to see whatever's underneath. I won't be wearing pasties with these ones on the other sites, just because, you know what, it's time to let the girls, you know, live a little and be free. So, overall, Wicked Weasel, the hype, yes, it's a very pricey company, but it is worth it. It is ridiculous that something so small it can be $40 because there's not much material, but the material is sturdy and soft and extremely comfortable. Do be aware that whatever you get, it's gonna be see-through once you get wet or even before that. Um, but I really like it. Let me know which of the outfits that I tried on was your favorite. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want me to try on next, what company or outfits. Don't forget about Patreon and OnlyFans. All the sexy and all my energy, all the content is gonna be there um, right now and you don't wanna miss out. So I'll see you guys in the next Say one. Bye. A bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah.